Hey guys, it's Andrew from HTC One Softmodder, and today I'm going to be showing you how to rebrand your HTC One. So this can pretty much come in handy if you're switching between any GSM or LTE carrier, like if you're going from AT&T or T-Mobile or vice versa. Granted, this will not work on any Verizon or Sprint-based HTC One because they use completely different like software and firmware and stuff. And if you were to flash those radios onto, a, let's say, an AT&T One, it just wouldn't work. So before we get started, make sure that you have ADB and Fastboot on your computer, that you have enabled USB debugging on your One. Your One also has to be as soft, and it has to have an unlocked bootloader with TWRP installed on it. It won't work if, it's, if neither of those are um, on your device. Um, once you've got all that done, make sure that, again that you're going from um, AT&T to a T-Mobile or vice versa. And also just to make sure that there's no data loss back up your your um, <clears throat> all your APKs and app data as well. After you have all that done, um, copy all the files over to your computer and then we'll, we'll be able to get started. The first thing we're going to be doing is changing your CID. So in order to do that, make sure USB debugging is enabled and then plug in your one to your computer. Okay, so to change your CID, the first thing you're going to want to do um, after your device is connected to your computer is open up terminal or command prompt, whichever you're using and then reboot into bootloader. So to do that, type in ADB reboot bootloader. Give your device a second and it'll reboot into fastboot. After it's there, go ahead and type in fastboot OEM write CID and then enter the CID of the carrier that you're switching to. I am changing up an AT&T branded HTC One to AT Mobile. So I'm gonna be using that CID, you know, if you don't know the carrier ID of the carrier you're switching to, XDA has a reference list. So just go ahead and check that out. It'll be in the full tutorial in the description. So mine would be T M O B 010. Hit enter, it'll write it to your device, and then you'll be all set. After that, you just reboot into regular ADB. So just type in fast boot reboot. And your device will be will reboot right into um the right back into normal. Okay. Next, we're going to be changing the MID. Changing the MID usually required you to like flash a special engineering bootloader and then changing it that way. But um, thanks to an X game member, I believe the name was Gove, there is now like an enrollment installer just to do that. So in order to get that um going on your device, you have to download that tool from um. From, XDA, from the XDA page, and that, there's a link to that in the full tutorial, so just download that directly onto your One using like either Chrome or whatever internet browser you have on it. And then after you have that downloaded onto your SD card or the internal storage of your device, go ahead and plug it in again. Again, make sure USB debugging is enabled, and then in terminal type ADB reboot recovery. This will boot your device into TWRP or whatever other custom recovery. Mm -hmm. I use TWRP because it's the most stable and has the biggest compatibility with most tweaks and uh, ROM installs. Okay, once your device is in recovery, um, you're going to want to hit the install option. Okay. Scroll down to the MID change zip. Um, mine is right in the SD card parent folder, so okay. hit on that. Then just wipe to confirm the flash. Yep. Okay, after you swipe, it'll bring you to the Aroma Installer. So just hit Next one time, agree to the terms, hit Next uh, twice more. And then now you're going to be greeted with a list of all the possible MIDs you could change your one to. Since I'm going from AT&T to T-Mobile, I'm going to select the fourth option to switch to T-Mobile. Uh, you, know, you could change it depending on whatever carrier you're switching to. But after you select that, hit Next, and then Install Now. It'll then install the MID to your device. If it does hang at 0%, just hold the power button until your phone restarts, and then you're gonna have to redo the process. It is a known issue, but um, so now you just, if it happens, just go ahead and do that. After that's done, hit next. Once you hit next, hit finish. Yeah. Swipe to unlock. Yeah. And then you could just reboot your system. Yeah. Now that you have your device rebooted, it's gonna be, um, on the T-Mobile, or in my case, in the T-Mobile and CID and MID. After you have that, just make sure USB debugging is enabled and plug it back into your device. Now you're gonna have two options. You could either relock your bootloader or leave it as it is. If it 
if you're gonna leave it as it is, go ahead and skip this next step. But if not, you're gonna want to um, relock your bootloader. So in order to do that, we're gonna be downloading the Rebone tool. So just go ahead and check the link for that in the full tutorial and then download that directly onto your computer's desktop. After you have that on your desktop, make sure USB debugging is enabled and um, plug your, your one back into your computer one more time. Now that you have Revone on your desktop, you're gonna to want to push it to your device. So in order to do that, type in ADB push desktop slash Revone and then send it to your temp folder. So that's data local temp. Hit enter and then it'll send it to your device. Change desktop Revone to whichever um, directory your Revone file that you downloaded was put into. After you have it done there, you're going to start um, preparing it to be ran on your device. So hit ADB shell, enter, SU, enter. Your device is going to ask you at this point to grant it super user permission for ADB shell. So go ahead and grant that. If not, just go ahead and um, ignore it. But um, you'll know you did it right if you see that root at M7 in your ADB shell. After you have that, change the directory to the temp folder. So that's CD data local temp. Hit enter one more time. Now you're going to change the permission of the file. So that's chmod 755 revone. Hit enter. And that's pretty much it. Now revone will be able to run on your device. So to lock your bootloader, you just type in dot slash revone dash L. Hit enter. You get the successful message, that means you're all done. So now all you have to do is exit out of the shell. So just type in exit twice, so that's exit, exit. And now you're just going to reboot your phone into bootloader to start flashing the RUU, which will let us um, flash the, the new carrier's firmware files. So to do that, type in ADB reboot bootloader. Hit enter, and then you're all set. Okay, now that your device has a locked bootloader, you'll be able to flash the RUU and if you didn't unlock your bootloader it'll be the same steps just get to the bootloader menu by typing in ADB reboot bootloader from the regular uh, from the regular startup screen after that you're going to want to download the RUU zip for your new carrier in order to download that there's a link in the tutorial for HTC One Guru they have a bunch of zips on there that you could download just make sure you grab the right one for your new model number and your new CID after you have that on there, place that on your desktop, title that um, ruu.zip just to make it easy. And um, just and then after you have that, we'll be able to flash it onto your device. To do that, you have to put your phone in ruu mode first. So to do that, type in fastboot oem reboot ruu. Hit enter. After that, you're going to see a silver HTC logo on your one. And that means you did, you did the um, process right. So now we'll be able to start flashing that um, RUU zip. So to do that, type in fastboot flash zip desktop slash RUU. I, um, I changed the directory of mine just because I have a bunch of different RUU zips on my computer. So that's where I keep them. But just change that extension to wherever you put your RUU zip. After you have that typed out, hit enter, and it'll start sending the file to your device. Okay, you know that your device accepted it. If it says uh, failed at the bottom, um, that doesn't mean that the, it failed to send. That just means that it failed because you have to actually install the RUU now. So just um, in a terminal or command prompt, just type in that same um, command one more time, and then hit enter. All right, after you get that message in terminal that the process has completed, you'll be all set. All you have to do is first erase the cache in order because um, this is to prevent any kind of boot loops. So just type in fast boot, erase cache, hit enter, it'll erase it, and then all you have to do is reboot your phone. So type in fast boot, reboot, and enter, and your device will restart. Okay, after your device reboots, you're gonna have to go through the initial setup as if your phone was brand new. That's because you flashed the RUU and you locked your bootloader. If you didn't, you'll still have to reset it anyways. You'll now have all the T-Mobile branded or whatever here you you flash onto your device. You have all like their um, proprietary apps on there. 
it'll come with all the same features and also it'll come with all their um, carrier OTAs. So if you want to just go ahead and check that out, just go into the settings menu and then go all the way down to about, hit software updates and then you'll be able to check for updates already. You'll see here that I already have the update for 4.4.2 directly from T-Mobile. If you log to bootloader, you'll be able to flash them directly in the stock recovery. If not, you could just use TWRP and just flash the OTA from XDA or wherever you want to download it from. Um, I hope this helped you guys out. Um, be sure to uh, check out the full tutorial on HTC One Soft Modern. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.